Well, it is that time of year again. It is the Christmas season. And when Christmas rolls around, those of us that run gun channels, we start getting a lot of questions about one very specific topic, and that is gifting guns to friends and family. A lot of people ask us, well, what's the legalities of buying a gun to give to someone? Isn't that a straw purchase? You know, we've answered these questions a hundred times, but there's always going to be new people that need the question answered for them that send these questions in every year. So every year I do a little video here where I try to answer the questions I get most often about how to go about buying a gun for someone as a gift for Christmas, be it a family member or a friend. Well, first off, it's not illegal to do. You can buy a gun fully intending to give it to someone else. Some people think that if you buy the gun with the intentions of giving it to somebody else, that's a straw purchaser. No, you're buying a gift. That is a gift that you are giving to somebody else. That is for your purposes. You are buying that gift for you to give to someone else, to gift to someone else. That counts legally as you buying the gun yourself. You're using your money and you're using the gun to fulfill something you want to do, which is give a gift to somebody. It's totally legal, it's not a straw purchase, as long as that person can own a gun. So they will have to go in some states and fill out paperwork if you have universal background checks. In states where you don't have universal background checks, you just give it to them. As long as they can legally own the gun, there's nothing illegal about it. It's not a straw purchase. Don't let people on the left scare you about that stuff because they try to do that. And don't let ignorant gun shops tell you you can't do that either. Uh, another question we get a lot is, well, what gun should I buy someone? Well, to that I say, you know, don't try to figure out what gun to buy someone. If you don't know someone well enough to know exactly what gun they want, or you just don't happen to know which gun they absolutely want right now, go to a gun shop and get gift certificates. Like this one right here from Sporting Systems. This is what I got for my birthday last night. I got a bunch of these because I tell people exactly what I want. Then I tell them, you know, if you don't get it for me, I'll just exchange it. So might as well get me what I want. As you can see here, very cool gift certificates, although these edges are a little sharp. If I was the owner of Sporting Systems, I think I'd have uh, Luke or the short one sit around with a grinder and grind these corners off. But otherwise, really nice gift certificates here. Uh, I got a bunch of these last night. I'm going to go spend these today. Gift certificates are perfect Are perfect for people. People think that, oh, gift certificates are, you know, they're just not uh, thoughtful that they're just you know, a, 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 a gift you give someone when you don't want to bother thinking about what they want. Well, that's not true of gun shop gift certificates because for one, they're specific to a gun shop. So you're saying, I know you like to shop at this gun shop. And plus it absolves you of all those issues of what gun do they want? Because I'm always saying, don't try to guess what guns people want. You never know. But I bet you their gun shop owner knows, the people who work their gun shop, I bet you they know what they want for uh, what gun they want next, because we talk to them more about what gun we want next than we do our spouses or our friends. So go in and ask them, hey, what gun do they want? If you want to avoid all the issues of, you know, because some gun shops will tell you, no, you can't give them money to buy a gun. That's a straw purchase. No, that's not a straw purchase either. That's garbage. You can give someone here, here's a thousand dollars, go buy yourself a gun. You could do that to a stranger if you wanted to. And as long as that person is legally able to have a gun and can pass the background check when they buy it. Nothing illegal about that. But some gun shops, you know, they got their head up their asses when it comes to the law. Uh, so they don't understand that. So you can get around that just by buying gift certificates. If you want to make it more personal, well, print out a little picture on a piece of paper of the gun you think they want. Go to the gun shop and say, hey, what gun does my husband want, my friend want, whatever, he shops here regularly. Uh, they will tell you probably, well, they've been looking at this for quite a while and they definitely want it. And Either buy gift certificates to go towards that, or if you're their spouse or something and you want to buy enough gift certificates to pay for it, buy enough gift certificates to cover the price of the gun, you know, whatever fees are associated with it. Go home, print out a picture of the gun on a piece of paper, wrap the gift certificates in that piece of paper, and then give it to whoever you're giving it to. To me, that's better than actually just getting the gun because, you know, by nature, we are hunter-gatherers. So we like to go get things. So to me, going and getting the gun, the actual going into the shop, buying it, filling out the paperwork, etc., that is the most fun part. Now, the filling out the paperwork isn't all that much fun, but the, the actual act of going and getting it, that's what really I enjoy about buying a new gun, as much as having the gun and shooting the gun later. But I have to say, that initial rush when you go get a new gun, it's like when you get a new car. That's the, the most fun that car ever is, is that day you get it and you're, you're most excited about it. But same thing with a gun. The day it's the most exciting is the day we get to go get it, especially if it's been something we wanted for a long time. So don't think gift certificates are impersonal because they are not. And they avoid a lot of the pitfalls of what's a straw purchase, what's not a straw purchase, can I pay for it, can I put it on my credit card, whatever. You can buy, most shops will allow you to buy gift certificates with a credit card or a debit card. 
So then you just buy the gift certificates, give it to them. They don't care where the gift certificate came from. If the customer in front of them's got the gift certificate, they take it. They don't give you any slack about it. So the answer to most of the questions I get is, what gun to get them? Don't try to figure it out yourself. Go into the gun shop. If the gun shop knows, buy them enough gift certificates to get it. I suggest doing that even if you're willing to just buy the gun outright. I say do the gift certificate thing anyway because the person who's going to get the gun is going to enjoy being able the day after Christmas to go like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to go down and get this gun because that's more fun. It's like two presents because you open the present, you see the gift certificates, then you know tomorrow you go get, get something else. You get, you get the actual present. So don't figure out what, don't try to guess what they want. Go to people who know, figure it out that way, or just give them the option of getting whatever they want. Because, you know, this, even if you think you've got the right gun and say you print out a picture of a gun, put it on here, and they're like, ah, I decided I didn't want that. When you're like, well, the gift certificates are good for anything. So go get anything. And uh, to the question of straw purchases, gifting is not straw purchasing. If that person you are buying the gun for is legally able to own a gun, as long as they didn't give you the money to go get the gun, it's not a straw purchase. Now, it is a straw purchase if they, for some reason, say, hey, I got this Christmas money. Would you go buy this gun for me because I don't want to be on the list? Even if they're legally able to buy a gun, this is the one exception I want to talk about. Even if they're legally able to buy a gun and they say to you, would you take these and go buy a gun for me? Even if it's gift certificates, would you go buy a gun for me and then just give me the gun? That way my name's not on it. Like if you don't mind if your name's on it and you're not going to have the gun, that's a straw purchase because you're acting as their agent and you're acting as an agent for someone who wants to avoid the process of buying a gun, wants to avoid the actual paperwork. That is still a straw purchase. So don't ever go buy the gun at someone else's behest, even if they give you the gift certificates or the money to go do it. That's a straw purchase, even if they can legally own a gun. So don't do that. It's a stupid, stupid law, but that's the way the law is written, so don't do that. But if you want to use your money, your credit card to buy gift certificates or even a gun itself and give it to someone who can legally own that gun, not a straw purchase. Don't worry about that. So my watch just bonged. Hopefully y'all couldn't hear that. But, uh, that solves all the problems. Gift certificates. Takes care of all those holiday issues with what gun to get them. And plus, you don't have to pay for a whole gun. You know, like my birthday last night, eight different people gave me gift certificates and it all together came to enough to buy a gun. No one actually had to buy me the whole gun. They didn't have to spend that much money. They all just went together, got me the same thing, and now tomorrow, or today actually, I get to go buy a gun. So, gift certificates are the way to go. And as long as you're not intentionally doing something wrong, like buying a gun for someone else knowingly, then you're not breaking the law. So don't worry about straw purchases because you're just not making one. You're not doing anything illegal. And like I say, if you deal with a gun shop that worries that you are, just do gift certificates. I think it works out better for the people buying. It works out better for the gun shops that are selling. And it definitely works out best for the person receiving the gift.